I'm Warren Spector. I'm the creative director on Disney Epic Mickey. And I was pleased when Disney asked me to work with the, the talented folks at THQ Nordic and Purple Lamp in remastering the game and bringing it back to a new generation of players. The re-release of Epic Mickey now is uh, important for a couple of reasons. One is uh, there's a new generation of, uh, of platforms, of consoles, uh, and there's an opportunity to upgrade the graphics, rework the, uh, the UI, uh, and a variety of other things that we could just, frankly, improve. But the, the real reason I think it's important is that uh, one of our goals with the original game was to make something that was timeless. Uh, Disney is known for that, for making things that, that stand the test of time and are still relevant years after their original release. And uh, when I started thinking about this project, I thought, well, why can't a game do that too? I think players will be excited to play the remastered version for a variety of reasons. One is uh, simply that the game looks amazing, thanks to the, uh, the work of the talented and dedicated folks at Purple Lamp. Uh, so graphics upgraded, uh, user interface upgraded, uh, the camera's been improved, uh, but the heart of the game is still there. The storyline and the unique gameplay, that's, that's the, the thing that I'm most proud of that we, we made a game uh, and we still have a game now in the remaster in Rebrush um, that uh, offers players the opportunity to decide how to solve problems. We're not forcing them down a particular path. Uh, they decide how to solve problems. Do they erase things? Do they paint things? And the, when they make their choice, they have to deal with the consequences of their choices. So there are a variety of reasons why players should be excited uh, and I'm most excited that now a larger audience can play it because instead of being on a single platform, we're available everywhere. I always said that we made games about players moving through spaces. And what better way to do that than with a 3D platformer? In Disney Epic Mickey Rebrushed, you play as Mickey Mouse. 3D platforming with jumping, dashing, spin attacking and interacting with the world in different ways. With the power of Yen Sid's brush, Mickey's able to use a magical substance, paint and thinner. He's able to fill in elements of the world, but also able to erase them. And through this interactive medium, he's able to bring life to the world. We spent a really long time exploring new mechanics, new gameplay elements, and additional motions and interactions that Mickey ha could have with the world. Eventually, we realized that the original game actually had a very pure core move set. We found out of the many prototypes that we made that actually there was only three new abilities that actually made sense to complement the core of the original game. Mickey is now able to sprint through the world faster than ever before. We've adjusted the enemy AI so that Mickey may need to avoid more attacks. With the new dash ability, he's able to get out of the way quickly. My favorite ability in the game and what I see as a staple of the 3D platforming genre is the ground pound. The projector levels in the game provided us with a unique challenge. These levels were used as essentially interactive loading screens in the original game. These are lovingly restored from the reference material of original Disney movies. Movies such as Mickey and the Beanstalk, Clock Cleaners, and of course Steamboat Willie. In Disney Epic Mickey, you explore a lot of exciting places and they are connected by projector levels. Those are two and a half D platforming sections, but what is really interesting about them is that they are based on early Mickey Mouse movies. In the original game, projector levels were great, but you could play them only once. In Disney Epic Mickey Rebrushed, we worked on them and we brought them to the next level. That's why we thought it's a good idea to let the players replay them and revisit them in the cinema. We worked on those levels according to three design principles, which is review, respect, and rebrush. The review part was really nice because we gathered in the office and we watched all those cartoons and we grew up with them. That's why it was really nostalgic feeling for us. Uh, we loved the characters, the story and the music, of course and we looked in every detail to find 
good references for art and animation, but not only. We also were looking for things that we could turn into new gameplay mechanics. Then we realized that Mickey is really active hero. In all those cartoons, he's pushing the story forward. He's not waiting for things to happen to him. He's making things happen. It's exactly the same in our game. You as a Mickey Mouse, as player, you are pushing things forward. Your agency, your decisions, your actions, making the game progress. We decided to add more options for the players to create their own paths through the projectile levels. Um, also, new areas to explore, maybe secrets to reveal, new collectibles to collect. So I hope you will enjoy those levels as much as we enjoyed creating them. No matter who you are, where you are, or how old you are, Mickey was part of your life at some point. That's why we felt really responsible to provide you with the best Disney epic Mickey rebrush journey you can have. The, the stakes in Disney Epic Mickey uh, are high uh, for a variety of the characters. Uh, they are stuck in wasteland uh, and far from uh, the real, real world, they're cartoon characters, but from the real world of cartoons uh, where they were loved uh, and respected. And uh, now they are uh, in a world uh, for, uh, for characters that are no longer loved. Mickey has to uh, save this world uh, from a mistake that he made. Mickey is the cause of all the trouble in this game. And so he needs to save it so uh, the characters uh, in Wasteland can, can live their best lives. Uh, he's got a world to save. Those stakes are very high. The other thing is he needs to uh, reconnect with uh, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. They are very similar in a variety of ways, very different in a variety of ways, uh, and that connection has to be, has to be made for uh, the world to be set right. Mickey and Oswald uh, were necessary components of this game. They, they had to be the center of the game. Uh, they're, they're two sides of the same coin. Uh, Oswald is uh, impetuous uh, and easily angered. Uh, Mickey is uh, thoughtful and resolute and calm in the face of adversity. And them coming together is necessary to tell the story that we wanted to tell. I wanted it to be a story of uh, redemption, of friendship, and, and of love. And that's, that's what it's about. So the, the two were necessary uh, or none of those things would have been possible. And the, the choice and consequence gameplay is important because uh, I wanted the game to be about something more than just jumping and landing on platforms and you know fighting monsters. Uh, I wanted it to be uh, about uh, some questions. Uh, is it uh, more important to be powerful but alone? Or is it more important to be less powerful and have friends? The way you decide to play the game uh, answers that question. So we ask the question, but players through their choices and through seeing the consequences of their choices uh, answer it. The thing I'm most excited about seeing, frankly, it's the entire game. It's been long enough since the original came out that I've forgotten all the secrets and I get to play it just like a normal player. Today, I'm delighted to announce that Disney fans of all ages will be able to join Mickey and Oswald in their daring adventure in Wasteland. September 24th, 2024 for PC and console.